Welcome to Life Beyond Certificate Channel. In this video, I will be telling you about lead generation and how you can earn from it. But before I continue, I will encourage you to like, share and subscribe to this channel. A lead is a potential customer who has expressed interest in a company's goods or services, but may not yet be eligible to make a purchase. They are potential clients, who a business hasn't yet transacted business with, but with whom it has reason to assume they might do so in the future. A simple lead can consist of a name, contact information, and the name, location, and job title of the company. After initiating communication, by providing personal information for an offer, trial, or subscription, leads often hear from a company or organization, rather than a chance cold call from a stranger who bought their contact details. Lead generation is the process of gaining the interest of potential customers, in order to increase future sales. It is a crucial part of the sales process of many companies. It is also the process, of searching for people who may be potentially interested in your service, and getting in contact with them to communicate further and convert. Some ways to generate leads are through job applications, blog posts, coupons, life events, and online content. A lead generation business acquires leads for clients who could then sell a product or service to these leads. Your clients pay you a fee since you are able to direct intended demand towards their products and services. In the lead generation business, clients pay for each lead generated if they meet the criteria given by them. You don't have to wait for your leads to make a purchase before you get paid. In other referral models, like affiliate sales, you need your lead to purchase before you can get paid. Lead Generation Process 1. A visitor first learns about your company through one of your marketing platforms, such as your website, blog, or social media account. 2. After that, the visitor clicks on your call to action, CTA, which is an illustration, button, or statement that encourages website users to perform an action. 3. That CTA directs the user to a landing page, a web page created with the purpose of collecting lead information, in exchange for an offer. Note, an offer is the content or something of value that's being offered on the landing page, like an ebook, a course, or a template. Visitors must believe the offer to be valuable enough, to trade their personal information for access to it. 4. After arriving at the landing page, the visitor submits a form in return for the offer. Though technically they can be integrated anywhere on your site, forms are commonly hosted on landing pages. Voila! You now have a lead. These four general examples, highlight how lead generation differs from company to company, and from person to person. You'll need to collect enough information, to gauge whether someone has a true, valid interest in your product or service. How can you earn money with leads? The most effective strategy to earn money with lead generation, is to send the highest quality leads possible. There are many ways to qualify leads, but the targeted audience and the ad language, are the two elements that have the greatest impact on generating quality leads. You will want to ensure, that your advertisements are being seen by people, who fit your target demographic, and are interested in what you're advertising. How to qualify a lead. These are the various ways through which you can qualify a lead. 1. Job application. An individual that fills out an application form, is willing to share a lot of personal information, because he or she wants to be considered for a position. Filling out that application, shows their true interest in the job, therefore qualifying the person, as a lead for the company's recruiting team, not marketing or sales teams. 2. Coupon. Unlike a job application, a person who finds one of your internet coupons, is typically someone you know very little about. However, if they think the offer is worthwhile enough, they might be prepared to exchange their name and email address for it. Even though there isn't much information, it's plenty for a firm to understand that, there is interest in their brand. 3. Content. While the download of a coupon, shows an individual has a direct interest in your product or service, content, like an educational ebook or webinar, does not. Therefore, to truly understand the nature of the person's interest in your business, you'll probably need to collect more information to determine whether the person is interested in your product or service, and whether they're a good fit. 4. Lead scoring. Lead scoring is a method of quantitatively qualifying leads. Using this technique, leads are assigned a numerical value, or score, to determine where they fall on the scale from interested to ready for a sale and quad. The criteria for these actions is completely up to you, but it must be uniform across your marketing and sales department, so that everyone is working on the same scale. A lead score can be based on actions they've taken, information they've provided, their level of engagement with your brand, or other criteria that your sales team determines. For instance, you may score someone higher if they regularly engage with you on social media, or if their demographic information matches your target audience. Using the examples from the above, you might give a lead a better score if they utilized one of your coupons, an action that would signify this person is interested in your product. The higher a lead score, the closer they are to becoming a sales qualified lead, which is only a step away from becoming a customer. The score and criteria is something you may need to change along the way, 
until you find the formula that works, but once you do, you'll transform your lead generation into customer generation. Lead generation marketing. Once you've assembled all of these components, you can start generating leads by using your various advertising channels to direct traffic to your landing page. 1. Content. One excellent technique to direct readers to a landing page is through content. Usually, the purpose of content creation is to offer free, helpful information to readers. CTAs can be placed wherever in your content, including inline, at the bottom of the article, in the hero, and even on the side panel. A visitor is more likely to click your call to action and go to your landing page if they are more pleased with your content. 2. Email. Email is a great way to connect with customers who are already familiar with your company, brand, and offerings. Since they have already joined your mailing list, asking them to do something is considerably simpler. Use CTAs with captivating language and eye-catching design to catch your subscribers' attention because emails tend to be a little busy. 3. Ads and retargeting. An advertisement's sole goal is to persuade viewers to act. If you want people to convert, be sure that your landing page and offer match exactly what is promised in the ad, and that the action you want users to take is crystal clear. 4. Blog. The great thing about using your blog posts to promote an offer is that you can tailor the entire piece to the end goal. So, if your offer is an instructional video on setting up Google Search Console, then you can write a blog post about how to select your marketing metrics, which would make your CTA highly relevant and easy to click. 5. Social media. Social media platforms make it easy to guide your followers to take action, from the swipe up option on Instagram stories, to Facebook bio links, to bit.ly URLs on Twitter. You can also promote your offerings on your social posts and include a call to action in your caption. 6. Product trials. By allowing people to try out your product or service before buying it, you may remove several obstacles to a transaction. Once a potential customer has started using your product, you can lure them with more offers or helpful information to persuade them to buy. Include your logo in the free versions of your products, since this can help you attract additional potential clients. Whatever channel you use to generate leads, you should direct users to your landing page. Everything else will fall into place as long as you've created a landing page that converts. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified when we drop new videos.